have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Céline's cousin and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command? <laughs> Promising lead. Wait. The elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Céline is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we meet at last. I've heard so much about you. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. The handsome, charming one, of course, my lady. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, Gaspard. Finding him is my priority. Are you serious? That is a grave allegation, my friend. A foreign power meddling now, of all times? I have no doubt this Tevinta is hiding within the ranks of the Elven delegation. They're up to something. 
My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. <sighs> Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up, don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Let's get this over with. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. <laughs> Shepard and Leash of the Wayward Order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Remember to smile. This is all for show, my dear. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais. Right Hand of the Divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Ghislaine, Lord Dorian Pavus, member of the Circle of Arantium, son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavus of Azariel, Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Honley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Céline. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? You're in danger. End the ball. Send everyone away. Inquisitor. We suspect that our court has overwhelmed you. You may benefit from a glass of wine, and some time to recover. No doubt you will find something in the ballroom to entertain you. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment.
Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Celine openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. It sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. Interesting. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. You don't want to be here, stranger. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspar and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. You could almost mistake this for a soiree in the Imperium. The same double-dealing, elegant poison canapes. It's lacking only a few sacrificial slaves and some blood magic. But the night is still young. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition. Fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? If you want something, say it. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I didn't realize I was watched so closely. 
All eyes are upon you, Inquisitor. Indeed, you distract from more important matters. Such as? Such as the unwelcome guest I recently found and killed within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone? Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. Someone will be held accountable for this. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. Is that the Shallon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> We're watching this approach. They're organized. Fancy meeting you here. So, you're Inquisitor Trevelyan. I'm surprised they got you sobered up and dressed for this party. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people, but you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Shallon's crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a Council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspard must be planning to strike tonight. He can try, but I'll stop him. I wish you luck. Better than luck, I wish you success. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. 
You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? There is so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick. Inquisitor Trevelyan, who we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Come on, let's dance. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? It doesn't matter where you're from, Your Grace. Everyone knows what's happening in the Empire. I... I often forget about the world outside of the Imperial Court. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I'm here to make sure it doesn't. Perhaps the Maker truly has sent you to us. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. There's no need for concern. I've come here to help Orlais. Helping Orlais has a variety of meanings depending on whom you ask. Kindness to some is cruelty to others. You cannot be a savior to them all. To some, you must be a monster. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? I only trust the Inquisition. It's every woman for herself here in the Imperial Court. Or so I've heard. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morgan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. 
which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. It's all right now. You're safe. Safe? I don't know if I believe in safe anymore. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. So this room belongs to the Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. If there's a reason you distrust Briala, I want to hear it. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution. But I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. She probably did send you to your death. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. Spare me the repartee and tell me why you're here. Such manners. Did they raise you in a sty? It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. You won't get away with this, Florian. <laughs> But I already have. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. Demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here? Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Tell me everything you know. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orle. Sticky, punsy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? 
The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters Brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down. Now! Paul Corypheus, kill them all! Protect the people! Yes, Inquisitor. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimonde. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? I don't have time for your self-pity. You brought this on yourself. How perceptive. I did arrange every event of the evening, including this one. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. 
I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together. Of course. Thanks to Briala, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Celine. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually you'll convince somebody. He also murdered a Council of Heralds emissary. I found the body and his knife in the servants' quarters. I have done no such thing. He also ordered his general to sneak troops into the Winter Palace. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selene. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. For this service to the Empire, Briala, your previous treachery will be pardoned. But you will have to live in exile. You're too kind. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orle owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this, nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orle. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orle to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? The civil war may have ended, but the fighting has just begun. The battle is far from over. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field, but that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. There's plenty of opportunity for that later. I wanted some air. I had no wish to interrupt your breathing, only to bring news. By Imperial decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. This isn't over yet. Corivius will strike back at us for this loss. He surely will. But we'll be ready for whatever comes. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? 
It's time to head back to Skyhold. Of course. It will be good to go home.